What can you tell us about hospitals in London at the moment? Have they reached capacity? Are you better at treating COVID-19? Is it less deadly than it was in April and March? Yeah, those are all very relevant questions. I think it's fair to say that uh, almost all hospitals in London are very full, but they're not only full with COVID-19 patients. We are also very full because we are running a complete um, elective program. We're seeing lots of outpatients. We're doing our surgical program full speed because we have long waiting lists and we want to get on top of those. So uh, that's making that's creating a lot of pressure in hospitals. Uh, because we also have increasing numbers of COVID-19 patients, both in the ward and in ITUs. But I have to say, at the moment in London, it is manageable. So the numbers do increase every day. So we do have admissions every day. But we also discharge a lot of patients back home uh, who have recovered for, uh, from COVID-19 from ITU or from the general wards. Um, and that's a little bit of a difference from the first peak. We have the impression that we are, have become a little bit better in managing COVID-19. So the length of stay is shorter. Um, patient's outcome is slightly better, as it seems. And therefore, um, it is, uh, well, we can still um, provide sufficient capacity for everything that we want to do in London. And is that, uh, Dr. Levy, because of better treatments, you know, better drugs that have been approved, or is it because staff also have better equipment to deal with? I think it's a combination of things. Uh, obviously, there is no golden bullet for COVID-19 treatment so far, but it's a combination of a lot of little things. So we give steroids to patients. Uh, we now know how to anticoagulate them to prevent thrombotic complications. I think... Uh, like every medical intervention, we have we've had our learning curve, so we are better in diagnostics, um, understanding a little bit earlier on in the process what's going on with patients and how how we should respond to that. So it is a combination of things that actually had quite an impressive effect, um, not only in London. I think that's what you see worldwide. So if you look at the clinical trials, interestingly, we have many trials that do not show any benefit of any given intervention. But if you look in the control group, mortality is getting lower and lower and lower throughout the world. So I think it's fair to say that we're getting a little bit better in treating COVID-19. Dr. Levy, Tom Keene in New York, thank you so much for joining us. And congratulations on being chief scientific officer of your Netherlands, I believe, in the next year. I'd like to speak to you about your focus on thrombosis. We've been looking at the tissue damage that is seen within this horrific virus. Do you believe there is a permanence to those that were sick or sort of sick or very sick? Is there a permanence to their lung capacity and their upper body ability into the future? It seems to be the case, although there is a strange discrepancy that those patients who are most severely ill uh, recover fairly well after their even a prolonged ITU or hospital stay. We see this uh, long COVID syndrome, so these long-term consequences yeah. of COVID, mostly in younger patients that had not even hospital admission and had the disease at home and relatively mild conditions. But then they have this very puzzling and intriguing, but also very debilitating long COVID syndrome that can actually plague them for months. Within the long COVID syndrome, what is the Levy timeline into 2021? We get all excited about vaccines and the silver bullet. What is your personal timeline to where our viewers and listeners will actually be comfortable in society? Yeah, I think we are learning really fast. So, of course, all the attention has been devoted in the past few months on vaccines and vaccination. Um, I think we will get there. Now, long COVID is relatively new, so we are very rapidly learning what's actually the underlying reason for those things. And it's probably not one disease. It's a combination of things with different presentations in different people. And at the same time, we are learning how to treat these patients. So I've seen very nice results of rehabilitation programs, which are very different from what we usually do in rehabilitation, specifically for long COVID with good outcomes. So it takes a long time. It is really a, a very bad situation for those people who are affected, but the prognosis is fairly okay, fortunately. Dr. Levy, what can you tell us about what the government is putting in place? So we'll be able to see our loved ones for Christmas for four or five days. Do you worry about a significant case resurgence then in the early weeks of January? 
Um, that's what people predict, but we have to admit that lots of these predictions and model making is very often not correct uh, retrospectively. So we'll see. Um, I think even with the loosening of the restrictions in the end of December, I think we need to be really careful and try to be as responsible as possible. Uh, and I think you can also have a wonderful Christmas and a wonderful time with your family if you if you abide by the rules. Keep distance, keep your company as small as possible. Um, do not sit together very close to each other in a small room without any ventilation for hours and hours. So even within the, uh, uh, the restrictions that are going to be valid for that period of time, I, I, I think there's lots you can do to protect yourself and your family members. Because what good would it be if you have a fantastic Christmas time with your family uh, and then your next family meeting is actually a hospital visit or even worse, a funeral?